The history of the popular game of soccer goes back more than 100 years ago. This game started in England in 1863, when rugby football and association football split into different periods, and the Football Association of England was formed and became the first governing body of this country. Story of Football Soccer and Rugby However, this game continued for a long time and there is still a lot of flexibility in these rules. For example, the number of players on the field can vary. None of them had uniforms to identify the teams. It was also common for players to wear hats. Another important difference at this stage could be noticed between the English and Scottish teams. While the English teams preferred to play with the rugby ball, the Scottish team decided to pass the ball among their players. This Scottish approach soon became prominent. This sport was initially a pastime for the working class in Britain. Unprecedented numbers of spectators, up to 30,000 people, witnessed the big games in the late 19th century. This game soon spread by the British people to other parts of the world, especially in South America and India, where interest in soccer increased. Soccer clubs emerged in the 15th century, but without organization and formality. Therefore, it is hard to decide which soccer club was where. Some historians claim that this was the football club that was founded in 1824 in Edinburgh. The previous clubs were mostly formed by former school students, and the first group of this kind was formed in Sheffield in 1855. The oldest professional soccer club is the English Notts County Club, which was formed in 1862 and still exists today. An important step in the emergence of teams was industrialization which led to the formation of larger groups of people in places such as factories, pubs, and churches. Soccer teams were established in larger cities and new railway lines could bring them to other cities. At first, soccer was under the control of public school teams, but later teams composed of workers made up the majority of them. Another change happened when some of the clubs wanted to pay the best players to join the team. This started a long period of transfer, without friction, in which the game will develop to a professional level. The motivation behind paying money was not only winning the matches, but also in the 1850s, interest in this game reached a level that tickets were sold for the matches finally. Professional soccer was recognized in 1855, and three years later, the soccer league was established. During the first season, 12 clubs joined the league, but soon more clubs became interested and this competition expanded to more sections. For a long time, the English teams dominated and after a few decades, clubs from Prague, Budapest and Sinai became mainly the rivals of Britain. Like many things in history, women were deprived of participating in the games for a long time. It was in the late 19th century that women started playing soccer. Another turning point that we are looking for was the soccer championship, the FA Cup, the first important match in 1871. The next year, a match between two national teams was held for the first time. The match between England and Scotland ended 0-0 and 4,000 people were at Street Hamilton. Twelve years later, in 1883, the first international tournament was held and included four national teams, England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Soccer was a British phenomenon for a long time, but gradually spread to other European countries. The first game outside of Europe happened in 1867 in Argentina, but foreign workers from Britain participated in this game and not Argentine citizens. The International Federation of Football FIFA was signed in 1904 by representatives from France, Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands, Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland. England and other British countries did not join FIFA at first. They invented the game and had no reason to follow. However, 
They joined together the next year, but did not participate in the World Cup until 1950. Domestic leagues emerged in many countries and the first soccer league in England was established in 1888. The leagues expanded over time and more sections were based on team performance. In 1908, soccer was considered an official sport in the Olympic Games for the first time. Before the first World Cup in 1930, soccer competitions in the Olympic Games were held as the most prestigious World Cup. Women's soccer was not added until 1996. Like many other sports, white people dominated for a long time. For example, tennis and soccer are traditionally known as a sport with a mix of black and white players. In Britain, Andrew Watson was the first black player and played in the 1880s at Queen's Park in Scotland. In the late 19th century, there were only a few national soccer teams. England and Scotland were the first teams that played against each other in the 1870s. Today, 211 national associations are present in the International Federation of Football FIFA, the global governing body of this sport. Another evidence of globalization can be seen in the increase of participating countries in the World Cup qualifiers, from 32 people in 1934 to more than 200 people in 2014. The World Cup is divided into six parts. Confederation of African Football CAF, Asian Football Confederation AFC, Union of European Football Associations, UEFA, Confederation of North, Central America, and Caribbean Association Football, Oceania Football Confederation, UFC, and South American Football Confederation. Now is the game called soccer or football. In most parts of the world, football is the name of the green chess game. Football is the biggest sport in the world. In the United States and Canada, soccer is used and football is used as American football. Its official name is football, but in colloquial language, it is known as football or soccer. I am glad that you watched this video with me until the end. Thank you for liking this video, telling us your comments and sending it to your friends so that we can get to know them too. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you.